To build bridges, Chinese people use what they term guanxi, a form of relationship that entails mutual obligation. It will be natural for Chinese to believe that when we developed into friends, OK, we become friends, then I would expect that one time, if I have some problem, I would go to you and ask for a favor. And knowing that you are a Chinese, then I would expect you would give me the favor if we have this kind of guanxi. In anticipation that, in, in anticipation that when you ask me a favor back, then I would return it to you. So guanxi is really long term. So we value long term relationship rather than just some ad hoc type of relationship. The use of guanxi is a common way of setting up businesses in China. This company is a joint venture company between a, a Hong Kong a company and a, a Chinese organization. This Chinese organization itself is actually um, is, is popular in making fashion, textiles. But through my uh, relatives, through some you know, guanxi, I have made use of networks because my husband and I have their roots there. When we went there and visit distant relatives because of this relationship, we managed to set up the company and get all the license and finance within six months. That's super speed. Danielle hadn't met these members of her clan before. In China, there are different officials. If you happen to be a relative of those officials, of course, they would look after your interest because you, know, you are a part of them. They will look at it that way. They suggest to us what we can do, and then they will uh, build bridges for us. China is undergoing changes, and many firms are being privatized, like the Xingqiao Garment Company in Panyu. I think it's a good thing. The change from state-owned enterprise to private ownership means that there is less government intervention, and so I can focus on the day-to-day -day operation and the development of the company and devote more time to pure management matters. The purpose of running a business is to make a profit, and that's what I'm doing. Despite these changes, Guanxi is still critical to the way business runs. In our society, no one can manage independently. You need Guanxi to get along. In order to further our business, our most important Guanxi is with government authorities. Then, of course, we also have personal Guanxi. That's the way we secure business over our competitors. Overseas Chinese management is much less bureaucratic than Western business. Top managers adopt a hands-on style that relies on their business instinct. They have fewer corporate staff. Workers are more willing to work together for a common goal. McTagu clothing, founded 20 years ago by a refugee from China, is typical. Today, this medium-sized company has a turnover of 400 million US dollars a year. In the last 20 years, we have grown from a small factory into a big company with 1,300 people. Since we noticed the competition in Southeast Asian developing country is getting tough, we moved some of our production into China in order to cut down the cost and increase our competitiveness. We don't have too many middle management because we believe in sport is beautiful. We expect our top management director or manager to be hands-on in every issue. Always go to the front line to look at what is happening, find a solution and get it executed. I noticed that in Western company, they put a lot of money in research and development. And uh, in most cases, like the big company, they used to hire professional consultancy house uh, outside the company to give them uh, some uh, specific report in the market research or product research. We didn't do that in Hong Kong. This is a DKNY order. We believe that only the company's management will understand what will be the best for the company. In Hong Kong, most of the company have very simple structure. Like us, for example, we only have three layers in our organization, which is the top management, uh, composing several directors, and then is the line manager, then is the operator. And another particular advantage of our company is that most of our managers are multi-skilled. They may have uh, technical knowledge, marketing knowledge, uh, or even financial knowledge. So uh, when a special opportunity comes, they can join in, take up extra responsibility, and then start the execution right away. So this is uh, 
uh, something uh, I think is quite different from the Western world because in the Western world, as far as I understand, the organization structure is quite lengthy. So some message may take time to finalize into action. Thank <music> you.